Hi, I'm Tim Barton with Wall Builders. Approximately 26 million people play the game of basketball today. The epitome of professional basketball is the National Basketball Association, or the NBA, which was formed in 1949. The NBA has produced stars of world renown, players like Magic Johnson, or Larry Bird, Dr. J, Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Jerry West, Michael Jordan, even current stars like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, but few people know the origins of the game of basketball. Who invented basketball and why? James Naismith, born in Ontario, Canada, who later became an American citizen, invented the game of basketball in 1891. Naismith was a noted athlete in college himself, playing football, lacrosse, rugby, soccer, and even gymnastics. After he graduated from college, he attended a Presbyterian college and became a minister. In 1891, he moved from Canada to Springfield, Massachusetts to teach physical education at the International Young Men's Christian Association Training School, a school designed to train ministers and workers for what is today recognized as the YMCA. And although rarely acknowledged today in its founding, the YMCA's goals were explicitly Christian. Because of the cold weather during the winter months in Springfield, Naismith was challenged to come up with a game that could be played indoors. He needed a high energy game since it was believed that boys would get into trouble if they had too much unspent energy. So he invented the game of basketball, although the original game was, was very different than what is played today. The original game was played with a soccer type ball and peach baskets that were hung from the railing of the gym balcony. After a goal was made, the game was paused so the janitor could bring out a ladder to retrieve the ball from the basket and then play would resume. Finally, someone realized it would be better to simply cut the bottoms of the peach basket so the ball could fall through. The game of basketball became very popular in the YMCA and spread literally throughout the world. Naismith then moved from the YMCA Training College in Springfield to the Denver, Colorado YMCA, and while in Denver, he got a medical degree. Naismith next moved to Kansas, where he worked with the University of Kansas. He was a school's chapel director, and yes, the state University of Kansas had chapel like many other state schools at the time. Then he became their basketball coach and then was a university physician. During his time at the University of Kansas, World War I broke out. Naismith became part of the 1st Kansas Infantry and was their chaplain. This is a piece of Naismith's personal possessions from World War I. This is his sewing kit along with his chaplain's insignia. We also have a letter that Naismith wrote to one of his family members during World War I. Well, after the war, Naismith returned to the University of Kansas, acting as a school's athletic director until shortly before his death. Although millions of people currently participate in the game of basketball and countless more are entertained by it, very few know the origins of the game. James Naismith, a strong Christian who was a Presbyterian minister, a medical doctor, a military chaplain, and a physical education instructor, invented one of the most popular games in the world today. For more short stories and lots of other information, please visit our website at www.wallbuilders.com. <music>